Welcome back to Living It Away. Every day we face different challenges here in Hawaii, around the world, in our everyday life. Our future depends on the right people leading us, and Omidyar Fellows is helping put those people in the forefront. One of those leaders founded the Superpower Academy. Pamela Jo is here to tell us more about her journey and the Superpower Academy. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Tell me about... Uh, Omidyar and Fellows, please. Sure. The Omidyar Fellows Program is cultivating conditions in Hawaii mm -hmm. for Hawaii to thrive. And they're doing this by supporting emerging and existing leaders who are working towards positive change in some of our most, most critical segments and sectors. Somebody out there thinks they're, they want to be a leader, how can they apply for that? Um, they can go on the website, omidyarfellows.org, mm -hmm. and the application deadline is the 26th. Okay, you have some great stuff, uh, pretty stuff out here. Tell me what we're doing today. Sure. So Superpower Academy came out of my fellowship, and it's been a collaboration across a number of the fellows. Um, you know, there's some wonderful research, John, out there coming out of the universities that are identifying skills and mindsets that are more closely linked to educational advancement, academic achievement, and lifelong success than traditional measures like intelligence and talent. Okay. So what we've done is we've created subscription to help kids start building these skills as quickly as possible. And we try to make it fun, we keep it hands-on, and it's all couched in a superpower adventure. You have some stuff up here that I could, uh, <laughs> I could spend hours on. Paper, airplanes, there's glitter, there's fun stuff. So uh, what, what, what do you want me to do? So let's Can do, do this. So first the kids get recruited by a secret society far, far away. Congratulations. You have been chosen as a superpower academy cadet. I love this. This is like Mission Impossible. Exactly. So they get secret missions that they must complete in order to earn their superpowers. Okay. And each delivery comes with a hands-on project and some readings. So they learn about a comic kid who is working through the skills that <laughs> they're trying to develop. And so today we are going to work on our self-regulation and emotion management, which was actually identified by a group of fellows in a design thinking project mm -hmm. um, as skills that are critical for leadership. Okay, how do we do that? I so okay. we're going to make a mindoscope. A so mind what scroll. color, John, is your mind? I, I like this one right here. It's like, kind of like teal. So we'll add in, these are emotions. We'll add in some emotions. It's emotions. Yep. I, you know, and people have told me that I am very emotional. <laughs> and do you have a blue mind, a purple mind, a yellow mind? Let's go purple. Purple. So a little bit of color lesson in here. Some blue, some oh, what, red. What is, so what does this mean? So this is what your mind looks like. When it's Trini would calm say that my mind looked clear. like it was well, before you put anything in it. <laughs> so I've got some finished ones over here. And let me just highlight in here, you can't really see them. There's some bubbles floating. Okay. And these are like our thoughts. Can you see those? They're like our thoughts. When our mind is clear, we can see them. Our good behaviors, our good decisions. That's very can cool. Can you see that? Now, yeah. when we shake it up, ah, I see it. Okay. this is what our minds look like when our emotions are flaring. And we can't find our thoughts or our best decisions. Let me shake that up for you. There's a lot of diversity. So the kids are really visualizing what's going on inside when their emotions are big or are flaring. Mm -hmm. And they watch these, and it helps them refocus and recenter before they make their good choices. Real quick, I know we're running out of time. I just want to know, how did you find out about the fellowship? Um, the fellows. The fellows. You know, I was really looking for a leadership program that would help me take my leadership and my impact to the next level. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a lot of work, but it's great curriculum, and it's curriculum that I think every executive leader should be exposed to. Um, so it's what I was looking for, and the network that I've developed and the resources I've had access to have just been tremendous and transformational. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Of course, we're going to have all this information on our website, how you can connect with the Omidyar Fellows. Uh, and how you can connect with uh, Pamela. So thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you for having it. me. All right, coming up, we visit the new Revolution Innovation Center. They have so many products to help your home be more energy efficient. In today's